Hello and welcome to this tutorial that will help you get familiar with using the Thrive Platform version 2.0. To get started, visit our website strivetothrive.earth, links available in the description. We would encourage all first time users to register an account with us. You can register for free by clicking here and entering your details. Once activated, you can now log in and access the Thrive Platform with your email and password. The Thrive Platform features the Sustainability Performance Scorecard tool, which allows entities such as enterprises, portfolios or cities to identify their performance at various scales within the context and relative to their peers. Users such as consumers may manipulate engine weights and controls in the dashboard and see the corresponding effects on entities visualized through charts and maps. To start using the platform, click here, which will take you to our default home view from where you can start making your search queries. The top pane is where you can modify your parameters which include choosing granularity, classification types, date range, formula engines, weight engines, and finally, the entity you would like to analyze. We will now discuss these parameters individually. The Thrive Framework uses a top-down approach and allows you to measure the performance of entities at stratified levels of granularity from micro, that is corporate, to macro, that is the entire cosmos. There are several classification systems in the platform that you can use to view the sustainability breakdown of an entity. By incorporating these classifications, Thrive Platform strives to augment and collate the initiatives by several organizations that are approaching this topic from an empirical industry perspective. You can select from some of the well-known taxonomies such as Global Reporting Initiative, United Nations Sustainable Development Goals, or focused industry specific taxonomies such as World Seafood Stewardship Index. Lastly, you can create your custom classification taxonomy by choosing relevant material topics of interest to you. You can select the performance period by entering the start and end date. The platform also allows you to choose a future date and conduct what if analysis for backcasting purposes. Based on first order principles, this enables you to project the target and work backwards to where we are at, setting milestones that are designed to achieve the desired outcome. Next, the platform allows you to customize your queries by using the formula and weight engines. Typically, you should select the default formula, which is the formulation provided by the accompanied taxonomy. However, you may compare formulations by changing this field. You can choose from a range based on arithmetic, geometric, and multi-capital methods. The weight engine allows you to systematically alter the impact of the material topic to suit your method of evaluation. For example, you may purposely wish to increase the effect of pollution and decrease the effect of energy use. Finally, you can select the entity you would like to analyze here. All available entities for the desired level and classification are displayed in the drop-down list in alphabetical order. For this tutorial, we will now examine the sustainability performance of entities at different levels based on the World Seafood Stewardship Material Topic Classification. The dependency of one third of the world's population on seafood justifies the integration of WSSI classification in the Thrive Dashboard. It is indeed worthwhile to hold the industry accountable for its actions by measuring and incentivizing business impact towards a sustainable food system that works for everyone. We will now run a search query at the enterprise level for the entity Thai Union Group, representing labels such as John West, Chicken of the Sea, Red Lobster, and many more seafood brands. Under WSSI classification, for the date 1st of December 2019, choosing the default formula, in this case, the seafood stewardship method, and the default weight, we can evaluate the sustainability performance of the Thai Union Group. The dashboard scores the sustainability performance of the company at 2.698 on a scale of 0 to 5. 5 being the highest and ranks it as most sustainable among the 30 keystone actors based on their dominant production in the seafood industry. 
By looking at the table below, you can dive deep into the breakup of material topics and the entity's performance on each case. Inner and outer limits are shown to illustrate an acceptable range of use. An allocation value is shown to demonstrate how much of a resource is available to each topic. On the far right column of the table, a sustainability performance index score for each topic is displayed. This score is achieved by summation of each quotient based on the enterprise's impact on each material topic proportional to its allocation. Each quotient is calculated as the actual impact divided by the allotted impact multiplied by its weight. By double clicking, you can manipulate these weights to simulate the effects of changes in topics like taxation, legislation, regulations, or the impact of incentives. Negative values can also be assigned to penalize the organizations for greenwashing practices or for failing to report on a topic. You can also filter the categories such as human rights and working conditions to view the indicators relevant to a particular topic. Just above the table on the far right, you'll see a sustainability performance index score for Thai Union Group as a whole. On comparing the dashboard's results to those published by the World Benchmarking Alliance Seafood Stewardship Index, you can see that the outcomes produced by Thrive closely align with that of the SSI. However, Thrive makes a step further by presenting a comprehensive review, connecting business models with strong sustainability performance using context-based measurements and science-based targets. The Thrive platform is the first tool to envision a quantitative sustainability performance ranking of the enterprises alongside their business model or strategy. The platform works by building on emerging science-based literature and selected case studies from the past 15 years, identifying which category of business models or strategies are more sustainable than others. The example of Thai Union shows the business model P5.1 Green Supply Chain Management is one of the most prevalent strategies adopted by the seafood industry. Refer to the help tooltips for more information regarding the business models used by entities. Now, moving on to the visualization of the data feature. The Thrive SPS tool incorporates levers, allowing one to produce and capture a customized chart to suit their needs for insertion in reports, presentations, and other publications. You can currently choose from Pi, Polar, Donut, Bar, and Chumbella charts. Chumbella charts serve as an easy-to-use instant visual aid displaying normalized sustainability performance measures in conjunction with selectable and scalable color-coded material topics and business model. Keeping the other parameters the same, we can also look at the next level of granularity. This industry is the animal food production in the case of WSSI. Similarly, we can measure the performance of the entity at the city level, country level, continent level, and cosmos level. To know more about the Thrive project, including its long-term vision and how it can help your use case, please feel free to book a one-on-one -on -one appointment by going to the home page of the dashboard and clicking here. If you need more information on the parameters, please refer to our Thrive Platform brochure or classification and formula documentation available on our resources page. These links are also available in the description section below of this video. I hope you found this helpful and thank you very much for watching.